hey there friends thanks for checking in yesterday a viewer named walter contacted me and said you need to report on this story there is a representative for the state of missouri who is uh, who has created a bill that requires all residents between the ages of 18 and 34 to purchase an ar-15 and then they will get tax credits for that purchase now I thought that was kind of funny. I looked into it. I'm thinking maybe it was a hoax or something like that. But then I looked today and it's all over the news. This, this state rep, Republican Andrew McDaniel, he's a former sheriff's deputy. He created a bill that states just that. All residents between the ages of 18 and 34 have one year to purchase an AR-15. And then they would get tax credits for that. And I, I love it because it's, it's making big news. And now he acknowledges that, and, and we acknowledge, that the likelihood of this bill passing is extremely small. Like it, at this point in time, it has no co-sponsors and there is no scheduled hearing to even put this up for debate. But what he is doing is very tactful. He even said, or it was reported that he said, that the absurdity of the anti-gun politicians and the way they just throw stuff out there like if this has an expanding stock if this has a, a muzzle hider flash hider if this has a you know this type of trigger you know this ban this if it has armor piercing ammo ban it ban it and and they do this all the time so we we look at this and we say well you can't require or mandate somebody to purchase a rifle if they don't want to you can't tell somebody where to spend their money Right, and, and we know that that's a violation, but at the same token, why is it that the anti-gunners do this all the time? They know they are going to propose uh, legislation that is never going to pass, they know that. But it gets people like us all riled up. We, we, we get on, on in front of our cameras, we share stuff all over the place saying, can you believe this is going on? He's sticking it in the eye of them. That's what he's doing, and it's working. It's generating the the attention that I'm not sure he wanted or expected, but I love it. I think it's I think it's excellent. You know, if if you're going to propose all these crazy anti-gun bills, then our side's going to propose things like this, where you have to purchase an AR-15 within one year. Now he's calling this the McDaniel Militia Act. I love the name of that bill because militia is a a term that has been misused so many times so often by the media militia is a good thing it is typically people who are are interested in forming and gathering and planning security for their communities they are not people who are looking to overthrow the government the way the media portrays them and, and, and talk about absurdity. They have really done a hatchet job on militias. And I live in Michigan. We have many militias throughout the state, outstanding people, and they provide a service for their community. But when you listen to these idiot media outlets, they have no idea what they're talking about. And so they, they really disparage the militias who provide a service. So this is the McDaniel Militia Act. And... So I love it. I think it's great. And I'm actually going to make an attempt to contact this guy and interview him and share it with you guys to, to see what his main intention is. But I'm pretty sure he's looking to stick in the eye of the anti-gunners. And so far, he's doing a great job. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching. And you guys be safe.